really good in presence of uh, our Honorable Chief Guest and uh, my leader, whom I say he is a very kind, very generous, very helpful person who has always kept his head and pen high. And when I say he has kept his head and pen high, he has always kept the economy of this country afresh. And I think it will go a long way in the history of this nation. When the posterity will look back, they will say how many reforms in such a short period of four years. He has almost committed himself to his work and the manner in which he has a grasp of everything and the problems that people are afflicting from, which are affected, which are affecting people, that he just touches each and every aspect of human life. I have seen him as a barrister practicing and Vivekananda the Institute of Human Studies over the, his indebtedness to him for the very fact that he used to spare time from his Supreme Court practice, he used to come down to the High Court for us. This we can never repay. The manner in which she used to stand, perseverance is required, patience required, and the sharpness on the manner in which she used to grasp the facts in very short period. The, the lawyer will come, brief him for a short while, he'll skip, skip, skip a few notes, just skip a few notes. We thought he wasn't really given adequate time, but in that much of little time, he had this sharp intellect to crisp everything and the manner he argued for half an hour in the high court, I was completely amazed and taken aback and I said, here comes my leader and my conscience said, he is the one who can lead India. And today's, whatever the current reforms are saying, the future will, well, critics are everywhere, but I'm sure his name will go down in the annals of economic history of India. And nobody can say that the amount of work that he does at the cost of his health, it will not go waste, it will go long way in strengthening India's economy and in giving world a world leader. He is a statesman, he is not a small politician. I am proud to accept him as my leader. He always keeps, as I said in the beginning, he keeps his head high and trend high. Thank you very much, sir. I'm really obliged and on behalf of all of you, I express my deep sense of gratitude. Thanks, Siddharth, for having to give words to my pictures. Because when I was going to Bandagod, I could remember who the, the, there was a Janu, you know, Mahavat, and the name of the elephant, elephant was Benhani, and there was another Sundargaj, and Ramgram was the, uh, uh, was the Mahavat. Very interesting stories. Mm, two, two cages of roti will be given to the uh, elephant in the morning, the wee hours in the morning. I, I used to get up early so as to be ready by 6 o'clock and before the sun rises, we used to set out on our journey and to see that where, where to spot and where to go. Difficult times and uh, the elephant used to clear our way and the Mahavat also and the uh, Forest guard also used to do a little bit of job, but a lot of, lot of scratches you end up with during the day, and you wait and have patience with the abated breath, you wait, and you see what, what moment you are waiting for. Because in the flash of moment, the, 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 the whole scenario changes, and if you are not able to capture those moments, then perhaps the, this book would not make it as interesting, as absorbing as it has become now. It has come very well, it should be with, in your hands. Now, what I took out from nature, I, I want to give it back to the nature. And whatever, whatever sale proceeds are there out of this book will be dedicated to wildlife conservation. And it is already on Amazon. So whatever sale proceeds are there out of this book will be, will be going back to Tiger, 12% Tiger Conservation Fund. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much.